Day one of regular lobster season, 2015. Windy conditions greet the crew of the Real Hazardous. They start with some ledges that produce good numbers in many seasons. However, they found that the lobster have not replenished like normal, and the ones that had are too small to keep. They continue hitting ledges marked from previous years and find lobster, but most are short, causing tensions to flare between the crew. today went. Yeah. It started off hazardous, windy, rough, bad currents, not finding many lobsters, people getting frustrated. Captain didn't know what he was doing. He's going too fast. He's going too slow. Our usual honey holes only yielded like six lobster. But in many seasons, you know, we could have got a limit each day off one of those holes. We hit three of those holes and had maybe five lobster. What? I guess you could say my predictions came a little earlier than I first thought. Um, kind of got a lot of the typical, um, you know, I guess you call it like a mild panic attack. Some people were like, oh no, this is, just, this is gonna be hard, right? We have to do this. The lobster aren't here. But you know, I, I don't like to assume we're not gonna do well until it's all over with, you know? A lot of stupid mistakes. I'm on, me and my brother went behind the boat on the rope, floating, and, out, and, and the boat's going in reverse, you know? <laughs> they don't realize it's in the reverse gear, they thought it was in neutral. So I, you know, I just swim to the side. But I see Christopher looking, he starts swimming, trying to outrun it. He starts going down and he's like, he keeps looking back and looking back. It was like a scene from Jurassic Park. You see the boat motor slowly coming down on him and he's swimming. Finally, you know, I'm off to the side. I'm like, hey, you're in reverse. So I put it in neutral. We were okay, but we rallied. Got our limit. No tanks, just diving, old school. And we start finding them, and then hey, everybody loves the captain. Here for the frustration of the The crew decided to go to some old numbers and free dive. Here, the captain would pull two or three people behind the boat with ski ropes. When the divers see a lobster, they would let go and catch it. The boat would then loop back around and take the lobster from the diver and put it in the live well and go back to pulling the divers. This process allows the divers to cover more area than if they were just anchored. It also helps them to fight the current, which can be bad around the bridges. To describe today, 
I would say bipolar. Rough. It was a grind. It was a successful grind. I don't know, I can't think of one word. Uh, mission accomplished, two words. <laughs> Success. If we get in the shallower spots and hit the current right, we should be able to limit it out. Yeah, we're getting ready for tomorrow. Might be a little tough. But hey, we're gonna do it. So the crew finishes a tough day with their limit, but the rest of the season looks bleak. The lobsters just aren't replenishing like usual. So tune in for the next episode of Deadliest Lobster for day two of regular season, 2015.